Well, we was at the bar last night and people was talking about all the Christmas cards they got and Valentine cards and New Year cards and cards, cards. And we, we was all talking about them and there was an agreement. We didn't think there was any redneck holiday cards, what should have sayings on them. So for Valentine's, and I know that's past, but it's going to come around again, or you might have your your girlfriend or wife's birthday coming up or your husband's birthday coming up or somebody's something coming up. And we thought there should be redneck greeting cards with things like, I love you so much, I almost sold my pickup truck to take you on a vacation What we ain't going on. Or, I love you so much, I would sell my pickup truck. We all agreed that was really unlikely, but some people do love some people that much. I think that might be excessive. Uh, another one was, you're so pretty, my hound dog thinks you're cute. Uh, I'm not sure that's a compliment, but I guess dogs like people, and if they think somebody's pretty or they like the way they smell. The odd thing is, though, you, you, you could write something, you're so beautiful, my dog likes the way you stink. I think now that's love. That's love. Or I love you so much, I take you on a fishing trip. Now, that's, that really is affection. If you'll take somebody with you on a fishing trip, because there's some people you don't want to take because they're going to ruin the trip. They won't shut up. They don't catch no fish. And all they want to do is go to the bathroom. And there you are out there in a the bass boat two miles away from any bathroom that they'd be willing to use, and they're going to disrupt your fishing. But anyway, we think redneck greeting cards is essential, and there should be lots of them. And we're going to work on some more ideas on that. Uh, one we want to talk about is redneck sympathy cards. Things that say like, we are so sorry you're dead. That don't do the person much good, but at least you get the idea. Or we are sorry that your husband passed, and so is his six girlfriends you didn't know about. 